Here we are, right back at it. I am Kimberly Busu coming to you with the YMLA Three Star General News. Recently, one of our GT students had the pleasure of interviewing the one and only Terry Cummings. Yes, I was truly excited to actually interview a real live basketball player who played for my San Antonio Spurs. Well, one thing that I learned about him was that he would average 20 points and 10 rebounds every game. Isn't that impressive? And the one thing that really amazed me is that he was one of eight players to actually play for 18 and more years. Joshua, Mr. Cummings has also been known to sing and produce his own music. Did he talk about his musical career during the interview? Yes, we did touch on that. He mentioned that his production company is named Cummings Entertainment Group, and he is still currently producing to this day. Joshua, one last thing. What is one thing that you learned about Terry Cummings during the interview that you didn't already know? One thing that I didn't know about him when I started this is that he became a minister at the age of 16. He currently has his own active ministry and church built from the bottom up in Atlanta, Georgia. Now here is the amazing interview between Joshua and Terry Cummings. What, play, what basketball players did you admire as a child? Dr. Jack, Julia Serving, you remember? Oh, yes, sir, I've heard of him. <laughs> yeah, Julia Serving, Dr. J. Um, he was my primary one that I looked up to. Not just because he was a good basketball player, but he was just a good guy, a good man. What makes it interesting to you? and baseball first and then um, basketball came about because it grew one summer from about five seven to six four over that summer so I grew out of everything I did with baseball and hockey so the only thing left was either football or basketball and I chose basketball. Were you gonna have another career before basketball? If so what was it? What is your secret to success? Well, Christ centered, you know, my relationship with the Lord first, and then the dedication and discipline um, that follow. You know, put things in perspective. Um, don't blow anything out of perspective. Keep life simple. And just keep pressing forward. Just don't stop moving forward. What's the best thing that happened in your career and life? I think probably what different um, for everyone but for me the best thing that happened was when you wake up one day and you realize that it truly is an act of God that you're able to do what you do and you start to realize the real direction of your life is not basketball but that basketball was a means for you to get to the direction of your life and that was the best thing about um, playing ball is that basketball taught me how life runs. What characteristics belong to a successful basketball player? Well, discipline, dedication, uh, a desire to overcome at all costs, uh, balance, which to me means um, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. Um, and then there's just the basic understanding of who you are. Never get lost because of what you do. Thinking that what you do is what you is who you are because those are two different things. What does character, discipline, and leadership mean to you? Well, character is really about the consistency of who you are, um, whether things are, are up or down, good or bad. And character is not about being perfect, but it's about what you do when something imperfect is found in you. Um, that is when you know if you really have character or not. Discipline is merely the thing that you use for consistency, you know, to build consistency in your life. You know, you know, it takes discipline to practice. It takes discipline to focus. It takes discipline to interpret and understand plays and defense and uh, character flaws and players you're playing against. 
in the leadership. Yes, sir. You know, when you take that, when you take character and discipline, the, those are two of the main attributes that every leader should have. But the ultimate thing about leadership that I never forget is that a leader is someone who cannot lead people places that he or she won't go, and they can't teach people things they don't know. So a leader has to be adapted to understanding um, things going on around them culturally, uh, economically, geographically, whatever. You have to have a basic understanding to lead people, but you can't lead them places you, you yourself won't go first. And you can't teach them something you don't know. What is your current profession? Pastor of a church and also a businessman. I run an entertainment company that is 32 years old, 34 years old. How long have you been a pastor? Oh, eight years. How has that affected your life, sir? It just helps balance. You know, I get to do what I love doing, and that is help people. Thank you, Mr. Terry, for your time. Thank you, sir. Uh, last question, sir. Are you going to come to YMLA soon? Yeah, I will. As soon as I can, I'll be there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I will rise to give you the glory With my heart and my hands